So much love and appreciation to those of you who have been with me for the two year period plus that I've been doing this. Um, thank you for showing your uh, love and support to the channel and to anybody else who is brand new to the platform and you would like to support the channel. Also, you can do it by way of Patreon, Anchor, the clothing store, and also the shoe shop that is listed in the comment description below. And again, thank you to any and all of you guys who have been here to support this channel during the two plus year period i wouldn't be able to do what i do every single day without you a washington state man was arrested for allegedly calling the buffalo supermarket and threatening to take the lives of black people there and at a nearby store where a white gunman took the lives of 10 black people in may Joey David George, age 37, is accused of calling a Topps grocery store on July 19th and asking how many black people were inside. He then asked if he would be able to make the news if he took the lives of all the black people, including all of the women, children, and the babies. George went on to say that he had assault rifles, was a really good shot, and could pick off people from the parking lot. The suspect also stated that if he didn't see anyone at the store, he would go to a nearby top store on Jeffrey Jefferson Avenue, the site of the mass incident in May. The next day, George called back and ranted about a race war. Quote, this is what happens in blue states. The caller also tried to mask his voice and number by using star six, seven. But the FBI was able to trace the call to George's phone. So this is the main thing I'm trying to get through to black people. We're just going to keep this video very short, sweet, and simple because there's no reason to go in depth. This is America. I don't care what you believe in. I don't care what God you believe in. I don't care what biblical book, what language, what not or whatever. None of that is going to save you. The only thing that is going to save you is what? What God gave you, right? Which is common sense which is wisdom, which is foresight. If you can basically look at the past, which is very recent and tell that, hey, if they were able to come back and do this once, then they're obviously going to do this again. Matter of fact, let's go back even further to the black cities, the, the towns that were destroyed, turned to ashes and all that good stuff. If it happened then, then obviously we should already foresaw at a certain point in time in the future that it was obviously in some shape, form, fashion, a way going to happen again. So ergo this year where that took place and here we go with another close call with another individual that decided that he wanted to potentially copycat and do the exact same thing that took place the reasons that these things are able to take place it has nothing to do with any types of laws there are no police officers that are going to save you there are no government officials that are going to save you there is no president that is going to speak on this there are no other groups of people that are going to protect you that are going to ride for you that are going to die for you the only people that are going to protect black people and that are able to protect black people properly is black people so that is a black community which means that black people need to start stepping up in massive numbers going out there getting their training getting their license, self-defense, what have you. I, I hear a lot of times that people are like, yo, man, well, you know where I live, you know, we got laws. We can't sit up there and, and have like none of that stuff. Well, I think that you potentially just just saying, just saying if, if, if you can't protect yourself in that manner, but yet the main people who want to do you harm, they can tend to sit up there and get those. It might be time for you and your family to move you and your people might want to try to get something together try to figure out something where y'all can move so that you are able to properly protect your domain your family yourself your well-being your neighborhood your community you might want to move where you are able to do so or or because a lot of people believe in the legal system believe in the in the government you might want to get everybody together in that community on at least one like mind wave and have everybody basically state to the senate to the governor the mayor whoever it is that yo we need laws changed so that we are able to protect ourselves because you guys are not able to do so like i said i'm giving solutions here i'm listing things that people can sit up there and do if you don't want to move then you better start you know going through the government the, the, the government that everybody loves so much and you might want to start talking to those individuals but the only way that you're going to get them talking the only way that you're going to get your foot in that door is if you got money 
because that's how politics talk that's politicking right there if you want to start getting some things moving you want to get some laws and some different things moving about you need to get all of those people there and you need to start putting money into these politicians pockets so that they will represent you better so that they won't sit up there and overlook you and your problems in your situation and quote unquote wait up until the showtime when the cameras are running when another incident basically shows up because that's all that's going to happen another incident this is going to go by and sooner or later another incident like tops is going to happen in another black community and you're going to have other people like, oh, well, why are we? It's, it's tragic what happened to Tops, but why are we just worried about Tops? What about what happens in the black community in general? What about what black people do to other black people? That's two separate, different conversations. You're talking about people within proximity who have issues, who have problems, who, ha who don't really know how to talk those things out versus things that are systemic, things that are allowed to happen, things that are historical. I very much hate when black people from another circle from another walk of life want to decide to take over a conversation come in here and try to tell us that no nah, y'all don't need to be focused on this y'all need to be focused on what y'all doing to each other if you're so focused on the proximity crime between black people then go deal with it stop moving your mouth stop trying to tell black people that what they need to be fixated on and you go focus on it since you care about it so much you want to bring it up every single time let us focus on the problems that we need to focus on so that after we figure out and situate this problem and push it to the side then we're going to move on to everything else but like i said before black people the only way that y'all that we that all of us will be able to successfully make it is if we at least the greater majority of us start measuring up start gaining knowledge and information and start leaning towards at least one issue all we need to do is at least focus on one issue and we can start from there to get a lot of things done this shouldn't even be a conversation this shouldn't even be a news story because if things would have went differently just imagine if that whole group in that community was armed and they got there before that before the police even even got there just think what the story would be nobody around this country would sit up there and say oh i'm going to try to copy and do what happened at no 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 because they're going to be second guessing they're like yo um i actually care about my life uh i'm gonna opt out of this one i i, I can't ride i can't i can't roll with the devil in this one this don't seem like a good plan right here it don't seem like i'm gonna make it right that's exactly what happened they're not going to be tempted once you show resistance once you show force once you show that yo i ain't about to let this go down i'm not about to let this happen people are going to think twice like i said all of this kumbaya all of this turn the other cheek all of this i forgive them and this is not all of them this is not don't hold the hatred and don't all of that has gotten us nowhere it has gotten us l's the house of l's like i said before people don't seem to understand that like black people just be taking l's worse than alliance but yet here we are still taking l's because you are allowing people who are making money to tell you like yo don't be angry don't be this forgive turn the other cheek da 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 kumbaya remember martin luther king remember i had a drink word okay like i said black people y'all got y'all decision to sit up there and make y'all can either allow people to tempt fate and to try to copycat and do these exact same things or you can put up a show of force and let people know that this is not going to happen again and if it does there's going to be a proper response when we see it <laughs>